Now, if you're building a WordPress website and you're using Elementor as your page builder, one of the problems you have is with any page builder is they're not necessarily great from an SEO point of view. Well, recently Rank Math released an update and with that, they've got an integration direct inside Elementor's panels. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to show you how that works. So I've already gone ahead, downloaded and installed Rank Math, logged into my account and set this up on my dashboard. So if we just jump over into the dashboard, you'll see that I've got my dashboard set up in WordPress. Now this looks a little different because this was a dashboard that I set up for a custom ACF, Advanced Custom Fields Based website. So this is all custom. And if you'd like to take a look at how you can create something similar to this yourself, then I'll put a link in the description below to the video that shows you how to do this alongside Elementor and Elementor Pro. But with that being said, We've got the plugin installed and what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply come in and take a look at one of the pages. So if I come in and take a look at my list of pages and I open one of these up that's already been edited with Elementor, you'll see when we log in and open up the Elementor editor, we now get a third option as part of the left hand column. We've always had elements and we have global, but we now have SEO. So all this is really doing is it's linking the Rank Math SEO tools into or directly inside the Elementor editor panel. But this just means you don't have to do that jumping back and forth, back and forth when you create content, especially if you use Elementor with advanced custom fields or you want to set this up to work with a blog and you want that editing functionality and you'd like to have SEO that's being checked on the page as you're editing something. So with that in mind, what we're going to do is if we jump over to the SEO tab, you'll see this now gives us a new panel. On here, we get all the normal tools you'd expect with Rank Math. You're going to get to see the rich snippet as you'd expect to see it as part of a mobile or part of your desktop where you search inside Google. So this gives you an idea of what it's going to look like, the title, the link, the details, and so on. You can drop in your focus keyword then underneath that. You can say whether this is pillar content, in other words, it's key, most important content, which just ranks it a little higher in the sort of search engine results when it comes to sort of go through your entire site. Now, this isn't an SEO tutorial. I'm sure that if you are comfortable working with SEO, all these things are going to be sort of relevant and understandable to you. But it's quite nice to see that all these options are inside the Elementor editor, which means that we can then start to reference those, make changes to them, and hopefully we'll see then that the different errors and things you can see that are being flagged up on this demonstration site will all be sort of taken out. We can deal with them one by one but we can do it directly inside the Elementor editor, like I say, as opposed to having to jump back and forth between the editor itself and then jumping back to the page that you want to work with. So all those things are very useful. So you can see we have some quite useful things like using the focus word and so on. But what we can also do is we can jump in, edit the snippet. So from here, we can go through, we can set up our title, our permalink, our description. We've also got the option then to go through and take a look at setting things up for social media. So if you've got a site that you obviously want to take care of and share that information on social media and make sure it looks the best way possible and sort of gets over the information that you want, which may not necessarily be what you're doing from a search engine point of view, you can then come into both Facebook and Twitter and you can fine tune and configure this to get exactly what you want. So you can drop in a relevant image that could be different to any of the other images you use. And this is especially useful if you're creating a page with Elementor as opposed to a post where you don't really use a featured image. So you could drop in your own custom images inside there, which can be different for both Facebook and Twitter. And what you can also do then is you can come down, you can set up a dedicated title, description, and so on, specifically for those social media networks. And you can also drop in and use an overlay icon for your thumbnail. So let's just say, for example, that the content of this particular post was video based. But what you could do is then you could come down, you could check that option, and you can have the icon overlay, which shows a play button, which just basically just tells someone this is going to be a video they're going to watch. And if you want to, you can also change that from a play icon to a GIF icon. So you can set up whatever you want inside there. So that's quite nice. And like I say, all directly integrated into the editor of Elementor. Close that down. I'll hit update just to make the changes on there. Now, there's one thing that's important. Out of the box, Elementor doesn't necessarily work with all of the different things that you may publish as part of your site. So if you're working with like advanced custom fields and generally posts, it won't actually invoke the editor. We won't have that option to work with it. So we need to make sure that we enable that if you want to benefit from this throughout your entire site. So what we're going to do is you come into Elementor, drop into the settings section, and from there you have the option to say what post types 
are you going to actually have the editor avail available on? So whereas I've created a custom field for recipes or a custom post type for recipes, I check that and that now means that the Elementor editor and this integration with Rank Math are available to me. So if I hit save changes, once that's saved and I come over and take a look at my recipes, I come to all recipes and click to edit any of those. And what I have now is I've got the Elementor editor, even though it's not currently being used, and where we've normally got the SEO options on the right-hand side inside Gutenberg, or if you use the classic editor, you'll have them in there as well. Underneath this sort of section, you can, if you want to, then come in and go through and fine-tune things directly inside here. So this now just means that we can easily use the Elementor editor if we want to, link that through with Rank Math like we've just seen, and you can benefit from not having to do that to and fro, back and forth, back and forth, to work with your SEO side of things. Well, what do you think of this? Is this something you could see yourself using? Do you already use Rank Math and Elemental and this integration just gets you sort of excited? Just cool to see you could start to do this without that toing and froing? Or would this kind of convince you to use Rank Math as your SEO tool of choice? Let me know in the comment section below because I'd love to get your feedback. As always, all the applicable links for this and everything else covered on the channel in the description below. And my name is Paul C and this has been WP Tetson. Until next time, take care.